a self-cleaning aquarium, a sphere that can reduce noise, and a weather station that shows what tomorrow's skies look like. All inventions by Mathieu Léaneur, the scientist among designers. His creations are technically elaborate. They have to do more than just look good. They must fulfill a function. People often call me a futuristic designer, but I don't agree with that at all. I see myself as a timely designer who is always concerned with today's problems and who tries to find solutions for them. For example, in combating environmental pollution or in reducing energy bills. At his agency in Paris, the 37-year-old Frenchman and his staff of five work on new, innovative products. An air cleaner named Andrea, available for 150 euros, has attracted a lot of attention. This was a true experiment. First, we had to find out whether a plant is capable of improving the air quality in a home. In the end, we realized that the air filtering doesn't happen in a plant's leaves, but in its roots. The air comes in through these holes, passes through the soil and roots, and then comes out here. For many of his projects, Mathieu Léaneur seeks the aid of experts. Ten years ago, while he was studying design, he worked with doctors and pharmacists on a series of therapeutic objects. As a student, I sometimes signed up as a medical test subject to pay for school. During a stay at the hospital, I wondered whether I could develop a way to alter the way the patient views medicine and by doing that encourage healing. The question was what role design could play in this. New York's Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art snapped up the prototypes from the student project. That was the first time that the MoMA wanted the work of a student. Of course, when you're young, it gives you lots of energy to know that your work is in the permanent exhibition of the biggest museum in the world. But that's not really where they belong. I would be even prouder if they were also available at pharmacies. Léaneur develops not only individual products, but also entire room concepts, such as an ideal bedroom that promotes restful sleep. For an 11th century French church, he designed a new pulpit, and he installed a chicken coop in a Paris advertising agency. So there are these chickens in the middle of Paris, and they lay eggs that can be given to the agency's clients. This little spot of raw nature changes everything in a work environment. When an important client shows up, what does he see first? The chicken coop. Léaneur's unconventional approach pleases a wide variety of companies. He's designed new parcel boxes for the postal service, stylish teapots for the cognac distiller NSC, and prize-winning perfume packaging for the luxury label Issy Miyaka. I think what my clients have in common is that they come to me because they want to change something. Of course, it's not easy to work on a historic monument, like a church and simultaneously for an electronics firm. But on the other hand, it's absolutely necessary, because otherwise I'd get pigeonholed. So I keep an open mind and thus avoid always designing the same thing. Léaneur's newest work is on the Champs-Élysées. The city of Paris commissioned him to create this public Wi-Fi zone. It's been in use since the end of March. To be here on the Champs-Élysées is fantastic, of course. It's not so easy to get a job assignment for the Champs-Élysées. And when you see that people accept what you worked on for 10 months, you get a little emotional, like when your child grows up and becomes independent. His functional design approach is visible here in movable chairs made of a mix of plastic and wood or in a green roof. It's all unmistakably Mathieu Léaneur.